Hello! Today I'm gonna show you how to troop train like a jump and I'll cover three, three topics. First will be troop capacity, troop training capacity, then troop training cost and the last one troop training speed. So let's start from troop training capacity. Troop training capacity is one of the two very good reasons why you should have a max number of tents and why you should upgrade them like crazy. I have to admit it's not my very strong side, but if all tents are maxed, they give you solid 2050 extra troop training capacity. You also have um, training capacity 1 and 2 in balanced talent tree then you may switch uh, the guard and surprisingly your best do that is lanoi with 360 extra and you may also choose mazarin who gives extra 300 then you have two pieces of gear iron helmet it gives extra 30 percent and hard locket which gives extra 15 percent you also may use one-time recruitment thing, just 5,000 or 20,000 if you have them available or if you buy them. So this is my max capacity when I use all 3,300. I know it's not great, but it's okay for me. So this is the sum up. And let's go to more important topics. Training cost reduction. Surprisingly, there are not many ways to reduce your cost. First is Ring of Protection. It redu reduces 10.5% of your cost. Then you have Royal Title, Huntmaster, which lowers the cost for another 10%. Then we can use Royal Boost, of course King may use it, and it reduces, reduces the cost for another 30%. The last but not least is Population Search Talent. And of course it should be clicked at the end because it reduces your cost for 30 minutes. So these are four ways to reduce your cost. And Maybe it's not so important if you are very rich in resources, but for example, if you need like 1 billion food, like my R5 gonna need this way, it's maybe worth to remember about all of them. Okay, let's go to the most important thing, which is training speed. Speed is built from your base, so remember if you gain 20%, you gain it from your base. So one, my bear base is 181 and a half, and it consists from my very weak tents, it's 161 and a half percent. Then development tree, I have it on both trees, it's 5% and at the end there's also research, which I hope you all have maxed. Research gives another 25%, so I think it's worth it. So besides the 5% I have in both trees, you may also switch the talent tree and gain another 20%. Then let's go to the guards. We have three troop training speed available guards. Your best do that is Ines Suarez. If someone has her on fifth star, she gives 72%. I'm using Voltaire, he gives solid 66%. And there's Galileo with extra 60% on fifth star, and I think he's very well available. I think you should max him. We also have temporary relic. Normally it costs 1000 gold and takes 24 hours or on Thursdays you may buy it for half price and it lasts 2 hours. You also have royal boost. It's extra 30% and it takes 1 week. And the cherry of the top is KVK boost. If you had any losses during KVK you're gaining extra 300% to retrain those lost troops. So let's stop in here and I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of this very buff. It was two weeks ago and I was on the verge of using it all. So when I had like 99% of the boost used, I'm using this special 20,000 troop training item. This way I have 20,000 extra, extra troops to train with half 
of the time. Okay, so let's go back to another method to increase your troop training speed. These are royal titles. Thanks, King Scooby, for ha having me one. So, Grandmaster title and Chancellor give you extra 5%. It's symbolic something. Another symbolic 5% is accolade you can get in Alliance campaign. Two weeks ago there was still event going on, so I also bought this speed up. And I remember correctly, before I did this, I had 3 or 4% of the troop boost. Then I had 304 which means this boost probably doesn't work. There's also a kingdom rank reward, but you actually can't decide when to use it. And if you're crazy, very crazy spender, you may also use honor or enforcer set and use this resonance on six pieces. And the last boost is subscription. I think Again, it doesn't work, but I am not sure because I think I managed to record it, but I wasn't able to find it today. Maybe I'll do a separate movie about it. So, this was the order I was training last time. This is the very beginning of 300% boost. I was blessed with Grandmaster title, thanks King Scooby. I'm going to my inventory where I can unlock my troop training accolade. The next step I'm doing is switching my talents to economy and I'm activating my talent for cost training. Then I'm checking my gear, I have my helmet and ring on, I just need to switch my hard locket. Now I'm going to temporary relics and buying drill drums for two hours. The next step is guards. I'm switching Vanderbeck to my best troop training speed guard, which is Voltaire. Then I'm going to switch my strategist for Madame Lanoy. And that's it, I'm ready to train. Okay, this is your checklist. You may take a picture or download it and simply use those three pictures when you're gonna train. So if you have any questions, you spotted anything else, please let me know or leave your comment. Thanks.